Hi guys, Daz here, finally with another episode of my top 20 selling comic books of the week. This time it is episode 118, and today I'm going to be discussing the best selling comics on eBay for the week ending the 29th of January 2021. Now since CoverPrice.com came on the scene, they've become a go-to spot for watching eBay trends on comics, and they scour thousands of eBay sales to culminate data to spotlight the hottest selling books. As always guys, let's find out if you can beat me because most people normally do. Starting in at number 20 on our list is probably one of the best sellers on my top 20 list, week in, week out, despite being mass produced. From Image Comics from 1992, you know the book, Spawn, issue number one. Just doesn't go away guys, does it? Of course, we are getting the reboot of sorts, starring Jamie Foxx and quite possibly Jeremy Renner. Now, this isn't the first appearance of Spawn. That is in Malibu Sun 13. But this is the first appearance of Jason Wynn, Mayo Boglia, Wanda Fitzgerald. They were all in that first B movie, Spawn movie, that I have in my collection. We've got the first appearance of Sam and Twitch. And like I say, Jeremy Renner, I think, is going to be playing either Sam or Twitch. So it's the first appearance of Stephen Percival. The second title that was ever produced by Image Comics and... Of course, we got some gorgeous Todd McFarlane artwork in this book. Well, this book, this time round, sold 16 copies. It had a seven-day trend of plus 157% with a high sale CGC 9.8 going for $160. This is a book in the higher grades that are going up and up and up. For the longest time, they were around about that 120 mark now at 160. Number 19 on our list. We're all about this guy. Everything Star Wars is pure fire right now. And this book is certainly no different. The book in question is an incentive. It is a 1 in 10 design variant. It's a lovely looking cover. And this is Star Wars, Darth Vader, the Lenko design variant. There we go, guys. That is number 19 on our list this time around. I'm not a cover buyer anymore. I just haven't got the room in my collection. But if I did, that one would make it in. What did it do? Well, it sold 27 copies. It had a seven day trend of plus 92% with a high sale raw copy going for 26 bucks. Nice book. Number 18 on our list. One Division. Yeah, I watched the last episode. Now this was a series for me. that has been a bit slow. Uh, Overall grade so far, probably a 7. Before last night's episode, it was probably around about a 6.5. So, uh, no spoilers, but yesterday's episode was really, really good. So, it's providing probably more questions than answers at the moment. And uh, I will give you a little spoiler. We have recently seen the, the twins of... Vision and Wanda, and uh, they're jumping up in age rather rapidly. And this book, because of the show, is really catching heat at the moment. The book in question, Vision and the Scarlet Witch, issue number 12 from 1986. And this is the first appearance of Thomas Shepard as a baby, who later goes on to become Speed, one of the twins, and the other twin, is the first appearance of Billy Kaplan uh, as a uh, baby later becomes of course Wickham this is the issue with Scarlet which gives birth uh, to her and Vision's twins and of course we saw that in the show a week or so ago great issue what did it do well, it sold 20 copies and it had a seven day trend of plus 111% with a high sale CGC 9.2 going for $150. I paid three quid for this and that was in the middle of 2019. And uh, just to let you know, on the old Spawn book, that was Carboot Tony who delivered for £1.31, came to me house. Uh, number 17 on our list. Oh, by the way, if you haven't seen Carboot Tony, check my playlists. He's there in all his glory. Got his own little segment. Number 17 on our list, and this is from IDW, and it's a recent book. 
and this is a pretty important issue to Turtles fans. We finally see the dismal future where Lita came from, including the first appearance of a couple of characters of Toka and Razar, the mutant wolf and snapping turtle from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Ooze movie. This hit nostalgia hard. What is the book? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, issue 113, and this is the Matt Les Nowitzki, uh, 1 in 10 incentive variant. I have a couple of turtle keys in my uh, collection. Nothing too major, but I do have Jenica amongst them. So what did this new title do from IDW? Well, it sold 32 copies. It had a seven day trend of plus 82% with a high sale raw copy going for $27.99. Very nice. Uh, number 16 on our list. This is uh, Miles Morales goodness and it comes from 2019 series. And this is a modern book that people are talking about and it's containing the first appearance of Evil Miles as the ultimatum costume and all the book in question number 16 on our list is miles morales spider-man and this is the regular cover and like i say it is issue 10 from the 2019 run okay let's have a look at its numbers well what's it putting out well, it sold 27 copies at a seven day trend a plus a hundred percent and a hot um a high sale CGC 9.8 went for $99. I have the first cover appearance of the Eva Mars Morales. I've got a feeling we might see that character down the line in one of these Spider-Verse perhaps spin-offs. Uh, I think I have a 1 in 25 incentive of his first appearance too. I picked up for 3 quid. Number 15 on our list. And we're sticking with Mars Morales. And it is the Mars Morales book. 15 on our list from 2011. Ultimate Fallout, issue number four. What a fantastic issue. Probably along with Clone Wars issue one, the modern book at the moment. This is, of course, the first appearance of Miles Morales, the ultimate Spider-Man. And I've said it before, I'll say it again. Reed Richards becomes the maker in this issue, a turning point where an evil Richards explains his new philosophy of the world to the children of tomorrow. I bring that up because that has been mentioned as being a future uh, Fantastic Four storyline in the MCU. I read the rumour on it. Um, this is a Death of the Spider-Man tie-in as well with this issue. What did it do? Well, it sold 27 copies. It had a seven-day trend of plus 104% with a high sale CGC 9.8. Get ready for it. $1,525, which is pure insanity in my opinion. Uh for a modern book, but it's got an audience. I paid £13.90 for my copy in March of 2018. I've passed on a couple of issues since. One for about 15 quid a couple of years ago, and one for about 45. Uh, but I picked up Edge of Spider-Verse 2 instead. Should have gotten both. Number 14 on our list. And uh, this comes from Boom Studios. with, And this comes because of loose option rumors. This variant and title relaunch happened just at the right time. The book in question, number 14 on our list, is Abbott 1973, issue one, the Thank You store variant. Pretty decent looking cover. And like I say, Abbott has got some option use attached to it currently. What numbers did it do? Well, it sold 42 copies and it had a seven day trend of plus 67% with a high sale raw copy going for $31.99. I'm not a big fan of uh, store variants, but uh, if it's option, maybe. Number 13 on our list from 1992. And uh, there's been a lot of rumors of late that during the Super Bowl, we may get the Venom sequel, Let There Be Carnage trailer. And uh, collectors are still rushing for this book. Like I said, from 1992, Amazing Spider-Man, 
issue 361, the first full appearance and origin of Carnage, Cletus Cassidy. Of course, Woody Harrelson is going to be portraying him. I'm more excited for the sequel than I was the first film because I'm a big Woody Harrelson fan. And he won't be uh, sporting his uh, Ronald McDonald wig from the first film. He will have a nice short back and sides, I believe. Now, this is, of course, the second overall appearance of Carnage as he had a one-panel cameo in Amazing Spider-Man 360. What did this book do this time round? Well, it sold 21 copies. It had a seven-day trend of plus 108%, with a high sale CGC 9.8 going for $904.29. Uh, I remember I bought this book for 50 quid, 50 pounds back in the middle of 2018 at the Collectomania Con in Birmingham and I remember forking out the 50 quid and thinking that was an insane amount of money it was the most I'd ever, ever handed over at the time which is crazy to think now but uh yeah it's proved to be a good investment that's for sure now number 12 on our list and this is a recent book from Marvel and this is a gorgeous cover by In Hyuk Lee I, I like In Hyuk Lee's work and it is still in high demand it is King in Black Gwynnum versus Carnage, issue one, the one in 25. Like I said, and it comes from In Hyuk Lee. And this is a stellar cover. Look at this one. Oh, my days. That is very, very tidy. Can't imagine too many of us will have that incentive. But what was its numbers? It sold 30 copies this time around. And it had a seven-day trend at plus 122%. With a raw copy... Going for a very nice 161 bucks. Wow. Number 11. And the first runner-up to the big top 10 comes from Image Comics. And it comes from 2003. Now, there is a second Game of Thrones prequel series in development at HBO. Now, I have, I've watched about half of the first season of Game of Thrones. And it didn't really grab me. I've got to be honest. Uh, I like monsters and fantasy. And I didn't see enough for that for me. Um... I've been told the, the final episode is a real letdown. But I'll go through Game of Thrones eventually. But like I said, there is a second prequel series uh, in development. And uh, this show will be based on the tales of Dunk and Egg. Whose first comic appearance comes in this issue. And that issue is, believe it or not, the Hedge Knight. There we go. Here is the Hedge Knight. There's your book, guys. And this is a book that is going crazy right now. For you Game of Thrones fans, what has it done? Well, upon the news, the market trends hit a high sale of $50 for an ungraded copy. And a rare 2003 convention variant saw a height of $70 for an ungraded copy. That book sold 10 copies and it had a 7-day trend of plus 391%. So we're into the big top 10 guys. Let me know as always in the comments how you got on. I have to apologize because for some reason I put age restrictions on my videos and uh, I wasn't receiving any comments and likes. So that is now possible. So if you do fancy going back through some of my back catalogue, thumbs up would be much appreciated. Number 10 on our list and this is another Star Wars book and this is going to blow up even more when they are finally announced for Disney Plus. And it's just a matter of time. The book in question from 2015 is Star Wars, The Canaan, The Last Padawan, issue number one. Now, as a refresher, this issue, of course, features the first appearance of Sabine Wren, Kanan uh, Jarrus, Ezra Bridger, and Chopper. Uh, Harrison Dula, and finally, a character I quite enjoyed in the Rebels animated show, uh, Garazeb Zeb Aurelius. Now, with all of the Star Wars heat and this issue being loaded with first appearances, it's bound to keep going up. It sold 34 copies. It had a seven day trend and plus 120% with a high sale CGC 9.8 going for $389.99. 
I think that'll prove a steal when they come into the Disney Plus. I believe we'll see Sabine Wren first, and I reckon Ezra Bridger closely follows. But I think we'll see Sabine Wren in the Ahsoka TV show. If you haven't seen the end of Rebels, you'll know what I'm talking about. Number nine on our list, there are unconfirmed rumours, and they are recirculating that Sam Wilson, uh, Anthony Mackie, will take on the mantle of Captain America in, of course, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, which is releasing on March the 19th, just after my birthday, which I'm happy about. Now, this rumour is being supported by a recent toy image that leaks that shows the Falcon and the Captain America inspired costume. The book in question, number nine on our list, is Captain America, issue 25. A great issue that uh, I haven't found the right price for yet. I'm not going to overpay if I find this book. Here is your book. Captain America, issue 25. I've seen it in VF range for about 10 to 20. I probably won't find it cheaper than that, but I'm getting a bit of a budget master now. I've got to be honest. The issue sold 49 copies. It had a seven day trend of plus 99% with a high sale CGC 9.8 going for $250. Crikey, oh, I tell you what, eBay prices at the moment are going crazy. You know, I'm a seller and you know, anything is moving at the moment for silly numbers. I haven't bought too much. Can't wait to get back out there. Missed the thrill of the hunt. Number eight on our list. And this is a hot new series from Ice Cream Man writer W. Maxwell Prince. It's a book I would pick up for cover, but I wouldn't overpay. It's a book that sold a whopping 108 copies. What is it? From Image Comics? You've probably guessed it. It is Ha Ha. And it is issue number one. And there is something creepy about clowns, isn't there? There we go. Let's get a full shot of that because that is a nice cover. Now I remember Ice Cream Man because I picked up all the early issues, but I missed out on there was a ice, uh, there was a clown variant. I think it was for issue eight, and that goes for some nice money now. Well, almost all the covers of Ha Ha is selling well, but it's the standard cover that sold the most, and it sold fifty one copies with a market trend of. $13. That was a seven day trend of plus 101%. But the raw copy highest went for 34. The Parson and Gallagher variants are holding at a market value of $300 for the set. Now on we go with number seven on our list. And this is a, a great cover. Not much left to say about it. Star Wars High Republic issue number one. This is the Stephanie Hans variant. This seems to be the more sought after of the covers, um, in my opinion. I ordered a couple of the regulars, but that fell through on eBay. This is probably the hottest book of the year so far. It sold a whopping 64 copies. It had a seven day trend of plus 93% with a high sale CGC 9.8 pre sale going for. $139.99, a whole host of first appearances in this issue, of course. First appearance of Keith Trennis, who is a Jedi Padawan. First full appearance of Avar Chris, who is the Jedi Master. Of course, she first appears in Cameo in Kylo Ren, issue three, which I've got. First appearance of Skier, the Jedi Master. Uh, Load and Great Storm, Stellan Gios, Vernestra. It's the first appearance of the partial team appearance of the Grand Masters of the Jedi Order, who is Vita and of course Yoda. Lovely book, and I paid £6.15 for that book, and it's doing a lot better than that. Number six on our list, this is from 2010, and there are unconfirmed rumours that Azari T'Challa, son of Black Panthers T'Challa and Storm from the X-Men universe, may take the reins of Black Panther in MCU's Black Panther 2. Now, I've just been reading a rumour that they've perhaps got lined up. The, there's a new uh, guy who is the lead actor in Bridgerton on Netflix who's being lined up to play the new Black Panther. Of course, um, T'Challa is not getting recast. But this book sold 30 copies. What was it? It was Avengers issue number one from 2010. 
and it is a book that is going very well. I've seen this book so many times in the past, these heroic age uh, issues. There we go, guys. Like I said, that is the first appearance of the son of Black Panther and Storm. What numbers did it do this time around? Like I said, it sold 30 copies. It had a seven day trend plus 225% with a high sale war copy going for $22.95. I wouldn't invest too much into an issue like that personally. Number five on our list, I just spoke about the Stephanie Hans fantastic variant of High Republic issue number one. <sighs> number five on our list is Star Wars High Republic issue one, the rare. I'll find this book eventually, guys. Probably in a charity shop is my guess for one pound. Because I can imagine there are plenty of them out there. So uh, I'm not going to pay the eBay prices at the moment because they're getting a little bit silly. But that book, believe it or not, sold 82 copies with a seven day trend plus 92% and a high sale CGC 9.8 went for $79.99. I think that's a pretty good investment because uh, I do believe in the High Republic. I think we are getting an animated show that's been confirmed and we are going to get a live action trilogy down the road. I am certain of that. Number four on our list, and this is the first appearance of a character in Future State. The book in question is Future State Teen Titans issue number one. And this is the first appearance of the Future State Red X. Here is the book. I'm actually watching one of these books at the moment on my eBay searches. Uh, you know, I don't, I'm not a biggest fan of these Future State books. I hope they do well, because like I said, I found the Black Border promotional one per store for free. And that goes for good money, 50 plus. But this Red X character interests me. And I think he first appears in, is it Teen Titans Go? Uh, one of the issues, is it 23, I could be mistaken. But the Red X issue sold 75 copies. Uh, had a, a seven day trend of plus 106% with a high sale raw copy going for $25. Pretty impressive numbers in, in my opinion. Three on our list, and we're talking Star Wars again. And it's it's just any anything first appearance is going silly. I jumped on board with this one just because I could. This is Star Wars Doctor Afra issue number seven. It's just come out, guys. This is the first appearance of when Delphis uh, was the leader of the Sixth Kin. Um, it's just a matter of time before we get Doctor Afra. I believe in the Disney Plus. And they're going to be looking at characters within her storylines, I believe, to fill the show. Why not go for this one? This book sold 24 copies. It had a seven-day trend plus 348% with a high sale raw copy going for $14.75. I paid £5.09 for my copy. This is the regular Sway cover. Number two on our list is a book I made a hot comic book alert about. There are unconfirmed rumours that Sony Pictures, believe it or not, is developing a film about the character Dusk. Dusk, a Spider-Man related character that first appeared in this issue, and it's very hard to find, Slingers Issue Zero. This issue is a free preview that was bundled with Wizard Issue 88 from 1998. Like I say, this is the first appearance of the Slingers. And that team consists of Dusk, who is Cassie St. Commons, Ricochet, a Hornet and Prodigy, a team of heroes assembled by the Black Marvel and given superhero identities formerly used by Spider-Man. Uh, what did it do? Well, it sold 20 copies. It had a seven-day trend at plus one, uh, 1,283%. My word, I think that's a world record. With a high sale raw copy. Raw? I'm reading the wrong word. That's why. <laughs> it sold 33. Let's rewind. It sold 33 copies. It had a seven day trend plus 666%. Crikey, that's still impressive. With a high sale raw copy going for $34.99. Apologies, guys, because we're on to the last book. And I just showed you the Star Wars Dr. Afra issue 7, the regular cover. This book 
is uh, an incentive and it comes from the fantastic Jenny Frizen number one on our list is Star Wars Dr. Afra issue one like I said the Jenny Frizen one in 25 variant and it is a nice variant Jenny Frizen puts out some great work that is our number one book what numbers did that do because uh, it's not often that incentives actually make the number one spot well, it sold 20 copies. It had a seven day trend plus 1,283%. 1, I got it right this time. With a high sale raw copy. Raw for that issue. Good for $250. Oh my days. Now it's because most comic retailers didn't meet the incentive requirements of ordering a maximum of 25 copies to get that one copy of that variant. So it's a very scarce book, but even so, 250 bucks. What did I do this week, guys? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for Daz, not even 50%. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. My playlist, have a look at the previous Hot 20s lists. Thanks a million, bye for now.